Addendums on window stickers at a car dealership. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. Today, I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth as we react to Steve Richards' attempt to pitch addendums. Well, before we start, Liz, who puts these addendums on the windows in the first place? And how do you get them off if the dealer resists? Kevin, the dealer puts the addendum on. So if you don't want to pay for that stuff, and you shouldn't, and they claim that they can't take it off, well, just call the manufacturer. That call works. the manufacturer, yes. Yeah, it works like a charm. Automakers get very grumpy when the dealers try to play games with addendum. All right, so that's how you get rid of them if the dealer wants to stand tall on them. Let's roll Steve Richards pitching addendums. Okay, so I'll just need your okay right there, Kyle, and we'll get your new vehicle ready for delivery. Yeah, Steve, I mean, I'll sign it, but... I, get I'm that camera centered, Steve. I've been researching online. Everybody just says that's fluff and don't pay it. Okay. Um, you know, I, I read the same stuff you do. Um, there's a lot of good information on the Internet, and there's a lot of uh, misinformation on the Internet. Yeah. Including Steve Richards' videos. So a lot of misinformation on the web. Dead on the money there, Steve. Uh, could there be an addendum out there that is nothing but fluff? Yeah, I'm sure they're out there. This one doesn't happen to be one of those, okay? So this one's not one of them. Right. What do you think the chances are that this addendum that he's going to pitch is not fluff? <laughs> you can trust me this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. You could trust. All the rest of them are fluff, but this one's not fluff. Well, we're going to show you at the end whether this is fluff or not, and then you guys can be the judge, all right? Don't expect you to pay a penny unless you can see some sort of return on investment, okay? The Kahu. Have you ever had a car stolen? Yes. Okay. Um, then you'll be able to relate to this better than most. Hey, wait a minute. He said Kahu, and a lot of people don't know what Kahu is. Correct. Why don't uh, we have somebody roll a short little video and show people what Kahu is? It's basically an app, but here you go. Stay connected with your new vehicle using the latest smart car technology, Kahu, the mobile app that lets you locate your car 24-7 from your smartphone and helps you recover your car quickly if it's stolen. Forget where your car is parked? Find it with Kahu. Wondering where your teenager is late at night? Use Kahu. Want to make sure you're not stranded with a dead battery? Kahu shows you battery status, so you can proactively take care of low battery power. You can also receive speeding notifications, which is great for guiding new drivers. With Kahu, you can set geofences around key locations, like your home or school, so you know each time your car enters or exits those areas. It's another safeguard to make sure your loved ones and your vehicle are in safe locations. Unlike other connected car products and apps, Kahu also helps recover your car if it's stolen. Our recovery specialists are available 24 hours a day and work directly with law enforcement to locate and recover your missing vehicle. With an average recovery time of 26 minutes, you know you're in good hands. And Kahu beats competitors with broad nationwide coverage and no monthly subscription fees. It's the best choice for your new car and your peace of mind. All right, so that's what Kahu was. Now let's hear what Steve has to say about it. Uh, Kahu is designed to quickly retrieve your vehicle because as soon as you notice the vehicle's gone, whether it be five minutes or uh, five hours or, or the next morning, you can find that vehicle very quickly and alert the police to, to where it is. It's just an a, app that it'll you give have you on your a phone. better chance of recovering the vehicle. B, if it's already been chopped up and shipped shipped off to Columbia, which <laughs> which is possible, you'll get a five thousand. I love these exaggerated stories. These guys always <laughs> say, you know, that thing could be in Zimbabwe by now, right? dollar benefit on top of any other insurance benefits you get okay but quite frankly I hope you don't get your car stolen I hope you never need to take advantage of either one of those benefits if you don't you're still going to get a benefit um, most insurance companies will offer you a discount okay now that discount just doesn't happen one time um, how often do you spend uh, do you pay your premiums every month every single month so you're going to do, get a discount for the next 12 months how long do you plan on keeping the car about five years so really quickly here if you're thinking about this as being a worthwhile investment and you get a savings from your insurance company 
First of all, you can get a much cheaper product than Kahoot because this is going to run like six, eight hundred bucks from the dealership. Yep. And you can get a program, you know, something really simple like through Amazon program called CarLock for as cheap as 50 bucks. So keep that in mind. And then when you call the insurance company, a lot of insurance companies do give a discount for a theft protection program, but ask them what portion of the insurance that you get a discount on. So when somebody says, you get a 5% discount or you get a 10% discount or you get a 15% discount. The percent of discount doesn't actually matter. What matters is what portion of the policy they apply that discount to. Right. Are you saving $2 or 10 or, you know, pennies on the dollar? Bingo. And that policy discount for theft protection is usually applied to the smallest portion of your premium, which is just going to be a few dollars. So you're going to get a discount 60 times because you've got the kahu um what would i call it he doesn't even know what kahu it is device on your vehicle so you're going to see a discount every single month as long as you own that vehicle now window tint you obviously you know where you live but what a lot of people don't realize is the sun can damage the interior of that vehicle and if the interior uh, suffers from fading um Liz, you've shopped window tint many times, and they it's really expensive to have this done through a dealership. So if you shop it around for to a few different shops, uh, what can a person expect to pay for a, a decent window tint job? You know, you could find it for $180, $250, but if you are really good at it, you can get a kit and do it yourself for $60. <laughs> Bingo. So, And there's some people who've done it themselves that it looks really great, yeah. and other people who've done it themselves that it looks terrible. If you don't have the touch, hire somebody to do it. But yeah, a couple hundred bucks, you can get it done. Loss of color, it will dramatically affect your resale value. Dramatically. Five years from now, if your interior is in better shape than somebody else's interior and everything else is equal. I always love how these guys make it sound like dramatic changes in value. So if the windows were tinted or not tinted, five years from now, what's the bid on the car going to be? What's the difference in bid? I don't think it's going to make a difference. Not a bit of difference at all. So zero dollars, zero cents difference. Guess who gets more for their vehicle when they trade or sell it? You do. So you've got resale right. value there. Um, wheel locks. Why in the world would anyone need wheel locks? Interesting article in Forbes magazine um, several weeks ago. Forbes said the number one auto theft crime is not auto theft itself. That's number two. Number one is people are stealing tires and wheels. Much quicker to turn into cash. There are no identification marks on the wheels or tires. Now, this is correct that wheels and tires are frequently stolen. And in fact, are the number one thing stolen on cars because it's very easy to get them off. They just jack your car up on the side of the road, put it on blocks, yep. take the wheels and tires off and away they go. You got wheel locks in your tire on your vehicle, don't you? Yes, I have one uh, locking lug nut on each wheel and that only costs $30 for 30, a set of four. 30 bucks. So yep. yes, you could find these pretty much anywhere. Uh, so if the really cheap ones might be seven, eight bucks for all four wheels, Liz got a decent set of them, you know, so they're like 30 bucks. So that's what we're talking about. Keep track of this math, you guys, because at the end, we're going to put this together in terms of a total number and then show you what Steve is charging for this. And then you get to decide if there's fluff or not. They can fence those just like that. So that's the number one crime. You got wheel locks, probably not going to happen for you. Nitrogen in your tires. Yikes. You know who first put nitrogen in the tires? The worst, the one of the biggest scams uh, that dealers are doing nitrogen tires. Wait, wait, let him pitch it first because uh, it's 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 horrible. <laughs> uh, okay, it's yeah, nobody should be doing this, but let's hear what he has to say. Uh, NASCAR, Boeing. Boeing, Boeing. They were going through tires because of the variation in air pressure from thirty-five thousand feet to ground level. <laughs> they put nitrogen in the tires, and there was no variation. Hey, even the Dukes of Hazard did get their car up there at thirty thousand yeah, feet. Yeah, no didn't joke. Variation <laughs> in the air pressure saved them millions of dollars. U.S. Fleet Leasing did a study a couple years ago. They did a thousand cars with air, a thousand cars with nitrogen. The nitrogen equipped vehicles got 30% longer tire wear and 12% better fuel economy. Savings, Bullshit. massive. <laughs> so 
you're going to save money on tires. You're going to save money on fuel. So while I know you didn't want to pay for it, certainly all those benefits would make it worthwhile. Okay, so seriously, regular just out there air is already 78% nitrogen. So Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Right. So if you get nitrogen-filled tires, you can only get 93 to 95% of nitrogen. I mean, you can't force 100% of nitrogen into Correct. anything. So, and Consumer Reports even says that nitrogen-filled tires, that's a joke. doesn't make a difference and at Edmund all. And Edmunds said the same thing. So yeah. both Edmunds, Consumer Reports, several others out there agree that nitrogen-filled tires are just a joke. Don't do it. But if you really want them, Costco will fill them with nitrogen for free. Bingo. So there's a zero dollar value on it. <laughs> you know, the interesting thing in the uh, report that Liz was referring to from Consumer Reports, they actually filled tires and, and, and monitored them for a year. And at the end of a year's time, the tire, both tires leaked out. So tires with uh, dry air leaked out and, and tires with nitrogen, a percentage of air also leaked out. The difference in PSI in those tires in a year's time was 1.3 pounds of air. That's, That's not very much in case you don't know Yeah, the you, you wouldn't even notice the difference. So no difference. And the conclusion in their study and several other consumer-related organizations say the same thing. Nothing. And dealers that used to sell it regularly have already pulled it out because consumers have figured out what a big joke it is. Here's Steve still peddling it. I, I saw the online price. That's, that's okay. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, do you have a phone on the on you? Yes, sir. Do me a favor. Divide nineteen ninety nine by how long do you plan on financing hey, this? Hey, right there. So these items that he's pitching, he said there's no fluff involved here. You know this this addendum he's pitching is not one of them. So he just said nineteen ninety nine, at a buck. That's two thousand dollars that he's asking for this stuff. Wow. And we've already thrown some numbers at you. Um, you can go to uh, Amazon as an example and uh, get a car lock app that's similar to this Kahu that he's talking about, 50 bucks. And then window window tinting, what did you say that runs? Uh, $200, $220. 200 220 Okay, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Go with 220 Wheel locks, how much, Liz? 30 bucks. And nitrogen filled tires are what? Zippo. Zero. So what does that total math come up to? 300 bucks for all these goodies. 300 bucks. And so, Steve, that's dang near seven times the value of what you're pitching. So what do you guys think? What do our viewers think? Does this sound like a pitch full of fluff? Yeah, that's exactly why we tell you don't buy the stupid addendums. They're, they're never worth it. All right, Steve, let's hear the math. Um, I was looking at the six-year, the 72-month option. Divide 19.99 by 72. Oh, the old monthly breakdown. It's uh, about $28. All right, now, for 28 bucks, here's what you get. Longer tire life saves money. Better fuel economy saves money. A discount on your insurance. Okay, being smart you, saves money. <laughs> being, being smart <laughs> saves 1700 bucks. You know, here's the funny part about all this is what Steve isn't saying is that if you're adding this $2,000 addendum to the expense of your car, first of all, it doesn't change the value of your car, so this is all just fluff. And the other part of it is, is that the interest rate, the taxes, everything else gets added on top of this 1999. So he's not actually giving you the total cost picture here. You're going to roll this into a loan and right. you're going to finance fluff and you're going to pay taxes on fluff. Don't forget that. Every single month for the next five years, higher resale value for your vehicle. Bullshit. And chances are, your car is always going to have tires and wheels on it, okay? <laughs> it's probably worth $28 a month, but I got a feeling for sure it's worth at least 92 cents a day, isn't it? Uh, then he took her down to the day. Th this this is so stupid, you guys, because classic, they'll, though. they'll keep breaking it down. So now he's got this $2,000 down to 92 cents a day. And he thinks that you're just dumb enough to go, 92 cents a day, shoot, that's, you know, a gas station cup of coffee. Yeah. Or, or whatever, you know? So, you know, just trying to break it down to what seems to be meaningless math. Don't forget, it's 2,000 bucks plus interest plus taxes. That's what you're paying for. It's real dollars. Yeah, I mean, for less than a dollar, it's, it's worthwhile. Need your okay right there. Oh, this guy, <laughs> this guy. Aww. Yeah, for just 92 cents, uh, I'll go for it. Yeah, come on. All right, what, what? And by the Give way, him a big head. mine was no better than Carl, Kyle's. Okay? The only thing. Oh, so what Steve's doing here now is he's explaining to the salespeople 
what he did right here with this uh, addendum pitch. The thing I did differently is, and, and, and we're, I, I don't care how good we are at this, we're still going to get pushback. All right? What's easier to say yes to? 1999 or 28,000 a month? 1999. What's easier to say yes to? $1,000. $999 or $28. You know what's funny is he has explained this to the salespeople. Whoops. <laughs> He's got a bright class there today, Steve. I mean, what's easier than $28? 90, $92. Uh, now they're catching on. You know, what our job is, is to make it easier for the customer to say yes. <laughs> the, oh, that's that, rude. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. But you know, the, all of this stuff, Liz, is just about the collection of the yeses. We've said that many, many times, haven't we? I so, know, but it still just gets under my skin. They're just so, ugh. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. <laughs> I know, it's, but it's the collection of the yeses. Yes, yeah, so break it down into these little minuscule numbers, the 92 cents a day. But don't forget what Steve was pitching here, this addendum that he said did not have fluff. You guys do the math on this stuff. $2,000, and we just shared with you that his list of addendums is worth 300 bucks. Totally. Okay? Don't ever forget that. So who wants to pay close to seven times the value of anything and then pay interest charges on it and then pay taxes on it? It's ridiculous. Don't buy these stupid addendums. And as Liz said in the beginning, if the dealer stands tall on them and say these addendum items can't be removed, just get on the phone, look up the customer service line for the manufacturer and call the manufacturer and tell them what dealer you're standing in and start complaining about that addendum, man. You're going to get a sales manager, uh, maybe even the dealer owner, the salesman, the finance man. They're all going to be out there. Hey, 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 we can get rid of that stuff. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so, it's amazing. That's how quickly. Anything else you want to add, Liz? No, I think that's great. All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, if you appreciate this video review of Steve Addendum's pitch for addendums. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all that. <laughs> Consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on your favorite social media platforms out there. There's a list here on the screen of your options and they are not addendums and they're linked in the description box below. All right, if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see on the window here will be easy to find in that description box down below and also on our website. But no problem if you can't do a tip. Another way you can say thanks is help us get the word out. And get us to a million subscribers there. Absolutely. Yep. You want your friends and family to be just as lucky as you, right? So put this video up, let the others see it, encourage them to subscribe. And don't forget, smack that notification bell too smack so you don't miss so you a thing. Smack the bell so you get the notification. Totally. All right. We're here to represent car buyers, not car dealers. And that's why we do what we do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.